it's Tech Boy here, and I have another review for you guys. This is a gamer's beginning, or beginning gamers, whatever, uh, sort of review. This is a XFS XFX AMD R7 240. Probably the most basic, cheapest graphics card you can possibly get. But, if you want something cheap, it works. And if you have a low-profile computer like I do, it works great as well. And it games pretty decently. It will work with most current uh, games out there. And this is just my quick review of this graphics card. Because um, I was trying to find a cheap graphics card so I could play um, City Skylines. And it works great with games like City Skylines. So, for most beginning gamers, this is a perfect graphics card. So, let's start with a physical tour, and then we'll go through some benchmarks. So, this is what the card looks like on the outside. Um, it's pretty basic. It's low profile. Um, it's just got the uh, fan, heat spreaders. That's about it. You can kind of see the card in there if it'll focus a little bit a little bit it has two gigabytes of ram 750 megahertz can be overclocked to one gigahertz uh, same way with the uh, ram speed on here it is um, HDMI PCI and uh, VGA port and that's pretty much it fits in a PCI Express slot and it's a pretty decent quality card um, and then there's the back of it but that's pretty much it as in physical aspects and to let you know this video is brought to you by Amazon.com click the link below to find all the computer parts you need and also this card will be on eBay for a very good deal and the link for this card will be in the description as well on eBay because you can find these on eBay for very reasonable prices and I will be selling this one as well alright let's move on to benchmarks alright so right here I have War Thunder it was a free game and it shows frames per second during the game Kind of a quick and dirty, um, quick and dirty benchmark test. And I have this card overclocked to a gigahertz, the most I can get it. You can't really do extreme overclocking with it. It's really basic, but it's fun to learn with. It's a good basic learning uh, graphics card. Because you get to the more expensive ones, it gets complicated, and that's more of a learning curve. So... Let's see how this plays out. And, ooh, whoa, hey now. And given, I have a wireless mouse, wireless keyboard, and an old monitor. <laughs> so let's watch the frame rates very carefully. FPS. So right now everything looks great. The colors look great. to do this but the real test is when you dive down and start shooting at the tanks in this game this isn't the most performance testing game or whatever but for a card like this and most kids kids love playing this war thunder game it's a perfect graphics card for that and for video editing too FPS is at 32, 35, I have pretty good control over everything, except for the lag in my mouse, oh, alright, let's turn back around, oh, getting shot at, FPS is at a good 50 to 40, until you start to get into some action. That's dropping down to 29. Oh, I got shot down. Knocked out. Alright, let's try again. 
and I'll show you the settings real fast. It has, if I can get out of this game. Right-click AMD Radeon settings, the Crimson Edition software, which is really good software, by the way. I might do a separate video on that. Click the like button if you want me to do a separate video on their settings software. Or you can go there, go into additional settings, and this is a crappy TN panel, so I had to turn the uh, the. Uh, saturation way up it's 11 30 p.m. I should be asleep but with this monitor I had to turn the saturation up which is, the settings are really cool with this graphics card I really enjoy that alright so I got dirt 3 and let's see how the R9 or R7 240 uh, works with a uh, simple game like Dirt 3. Not that simple. It has pretty good graphics, so it, it's a pretty decent workload on that card. And I have an uh, uh, AMD Athlon 64 X2. Single race. Runs pretty smoothly through here. Uh, Rally Cross Trail Blazer. Try that. And graphics look really good on this screen. It's only like 1400 by 900. <clears throat> try this BMW. Try that one. Alright. Loads decently fast, about normal. It's I don't have an SSD, it's all off a of hard drive. Finland. Alright. Race. Oh, it's not the snow challenge I wanted. Right, let's give this a try anyway. There we go. And everything runs really smoothly on this card. No hiccups, nothing weird happening. And this is a $70 card. And it works great with this game. Great for your kid if you want to buy him a beginner's graphics card. And, you know, kids love to play games like these. And it works great. Graphics look good. It put in any any computer that it will fit in, and it will increase your graphics and video playing experience by a lot. Only for about seventy dollars too. And I do have this card for sale in the description on eBay for a special deal for you guys. Also, look on Amazon too. See what you can find. Alright, the snow is a little bit harder on the graphics card, that's why I wanted to play this track. So let's, let's go. It's a good test. So this is the perfect graphics card to buy. For your kid, a perfect beginner's card if you don't want to invest a lot of money, if it's a crappy computer, it's a good card. So I do have this card for sale on eBay in the description. And if that's not working for you, I do have Amazon links as well to other uh, other different types of uh, the R7-240 cards uh, in the description. And if you order off Amazon, I get a small percentage of that and that helps out my channel. I'm trying to improve things too on my channel. So that would help out a lot if you do decide to buy this card off Amazon. But I do have a special deal on eBay too. If you buy anything through that link on Amazon, uh, if you're a regular Amazon shopper, that helps me out as well. So, 
I would appreciate that so I can uh, buy a, a blue snowball microphone. That would be awesome. So I could do some uh, B-roll and stuff and make high quality videos, which is what I really want to do. So it all helps. And subscribing helps. I got computer builds coming up. I just had to edit those videos and record them and all that. Um, this is a budget computer build that this is running off of with that uh, R7240 card and um, that AMD Athlon X264 card. Four gigs of Corsair RAM. Just a bunch of parts I found on eBay and Craigslist. And I will have a whole video of that. It will be called From Junk to Genius. It's a very, very cool build. And I'm going to add more to it. I'm going to make it better and put an AMD FX card in it. Maybe a better graphics card and more RAM because I have more room for that. And probably a new, new computer overall because I need a new, uh, a new motherboard. So I got those videos coming up. If you have any questions, if you want me to do reviews on anything, just comment below. I'm Tech Boy, and thanks for watching.